Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video in the accounting series I'll tell you how to create a accounts receivable ledger or a accounts receivable report. Now an accounts receivable ledger is a report wherein you get to see the total amount that a customer owes you and the total amount that is owed to you by all your customers. That is, if a single customer owes you money, then it will show you that much also, okay, that love and love company owes you $1,500. They need to give you $1,500, correct? And it will also show you the total amount of money that you will be receiving from all your customers. Let me make another entry. Okay, all right, so I enter uh, invoice number 321. And this time, Food and Food is the company that we are listing over here. Okay, this is another of our customers and they will be paying us $5,000, 50000 Yes, that's a good idea. And their due date is, say, 5th August. All right. And they make a first payment today itself. All right. And they pay us 25000 dollars so now it says that twenty five thousand dollars is due and the total due amount that the company has to receive from all all its customers is twenty five thousand dollars plus fifteen hundred dollars which is twenty six thousand five hundred dollars so this is a very very simple report and helps you in always knowing how much amount you have to receive from your customers how it works is over here i've created this cell which has the business name and you can mention the business name here like in our case myelesson.org you can also go to this site to download this file and here I mentioned the name and you can also mention any address of this business if you want then we have mentioned today's date which is over here and I have used the formula called today what will happen with this formula that whenever the sheet is opened today's date will be shown over here then total receivable as of today from all our customers. This is over here, which I'll tell you how I've calculated that. Then here is the date section. I have mentioned the dates over here. Here you can mention the invoice numbers that you have sent to your customers. In case you want to know how to create an invoice, I have created that video also. You can see my video on how to make an invoice. Then here we mentioned the customer's name and here the amount and here is the due date. Now you can calculate the due date based on the date the invoice was made like is equal to this date plus say 45 days credit. So 9th August and then here I have given the option of three part payments. You can add more part payments also. So I have mentioned the date of first part payment over here and in case you get a full payment you mention it over here and these cells will be blank. So over here we can enter the payment we have received see and in case you have received part payments you can enter them in part payments or if you receive a full payment you can mention the full payment also for part payments you can mention the dates and based on these entries the amount due is reflected over here see we gave an invoice of 50,000 and he made a payment of 25,000 so the balance amount is 25,000 if I make this only 2000 so the balance amount is say 48000 see and the overall remaining balance is also shown over here now how are we getting this this is important so i will delete this now the balance due is calculated using a very so simple plus and minus formula so i'll say is equal to this cell minus the sum of this cell comma this cell and comma this cell all right similarly for this one is equal to this cell minus sum this cell comma this cell comma this cell close the bracket and here is the balance now if love and love sends you Another payment, you mention it over here. So his remaining is 1500. So if you if he paid you 1500, 
all right and let's mention the date also over here which is say today's date only so now his balance due is zero now the total balance is 48,000 which is owed to us by food and food if love buys something else then you mention that in the next invoice number so for every vendor there can be multiple for every customer there can be multiple invoices list over here all right now how is this calculated this is simply the sum of this column isn't it cool so this is how we make a accounts receivable ledger in excel i have made a complete series of reports that are used in accounts you can see them on my elesson.org and also check these videos and these files on my website for free all right well i hope you like this video if you did please i hope you like this video if you did please I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up sign and do subscribe to the channel so that whenever there is a new video, you know about it. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. And do not forget sharing the video with your friends. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.